Thanks for joining us for Midday. I'm Brian Carlson. We begin with Salt Lake City Mayor-elect Erin Mendenhall. For the first time, she's addressing the public since winning the election. During a press conference minutes ago, she rolled out her plans for the city. ABC4's Jared Giacinini was there and joins us live with the story. Jared? Well, that press conference just wrapped up. Brian and Mayor-elect Mendenhall seemed very excited to take to the podium to address a crowd very upbeat here this afternoon. Now, a couple dozen people showed up to listen to how Mayor-elect Mendenhall plans to transition into the mayor's office. She says she'll resign as city councilwoman woman come January 1st. A transition committee is already up and running. Now, unlike the past mayor, Mendenhall will not request a blanket resignation of current political appointees, rather will assess their interest in staying in that current role. Now, air quality, homelessness, top priorities. Mendenhall says she plans to meet with the state to discuss ways to keep folks off the street this winter. Mendenhall says the more engaged she is with Salt Lake City, the more productive we will be. I mentioned earlier that I want this transition to be inclusive and equitable. We need to make sure that, like the new administration, the transition is more representative of all Salt Lake communities. Now, part of that transition after canvas and official numbers are out on November 19th, Mendenhall says she'll hold office hours for the next two months to take feedback from the community to prepare guidance documents for the city. Now, this wasn't just a historic election, two women vying to become the mayor. The county clerk says we also had a record high voter turnout for a municipal election. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Jared Jatsinini, ABC 4 News. All right, thank you, Jared. And as your local election headquarters,